really easy way to liven up a room in your house and you want to show them off to their best advantage. Yeah. So here with tips on how to do that is Natalie Schulz from Ray Plants and Vintage. It's good to have yeah. you here. Thank you. You brought all kinds of things, but let's, since we saw that one, let's start with pots. Just doing, doing it up a little differently. Yes, definitely. So I love indoor plants and really love to find ways to incorporate them in, but a lot of times people start thinking about the plants and they don't think about the pots. Mm -hmm. so that's an amazing way to decorate your home or just bring some interest in. So we brought a lot of fun examples of pots today to show you. These. This one is especially interesting to me because you always, you know, you take a little plant like that and you think, well, I'll put it in a little bitty pot, but you've put it in a nice pedestal pot and it's really cool. Thank you. Well, it's a. this is a fun way, so maybe you don't have a lot of space, like if you have a narrow countertop, mm -hmm. and so this is having, you can find tall and skinny things, and then if you pair it with a plant that trails, like this one does, it has it can come, it'll come down and you'll get a lot of, um, it, it's great on a shelf or on a tabletop because yeah. you'll be able to show off your plants in a fun pot. Maybe a little space, but this one is so pretty. We were <laughs> just talking about that, the iridescence, this, so kind of look for something different. Definitely, and this is just an example of, this is an antique pot that just has this gorgeous, so this would be an amazing if you really wanted an exciting like pop-up color, like maybe you have a neutral room, and mm -hmm. so this would be a real statement piece in love your it. interior. The one that we showed just at the beginning of the segment with the face on it, Cisco would love that. <laughs> he loves these things that have a little sense of humor. So that's a pretty interesting piece too. It is. This is my favorite example of I really like to make my make my like add a funky touch with my plants. So <laughs> this I think is a really great way. Like maybe you have, you know, somebody has um, some ceramics from maybe their kids or maybe your old pottery class. And I would say pull them out, find a way to incorporate them into your house with a Fun plant. Now, this looks like his hair. Yes, it yeah. does, which it's, is really cool. It's a conversational looks piece. Looks like Ernie, right? <laughs> from from uh, Bert and Ernie. Well, there are lots of cool plants here, metallics, you know, pieces of art, that kind of thing. But I wanted to ask you next about the things that that we can do with hanging. Definitely. Yes. So this is another way to incorporate plants in your home in an easy way. So these are, we really focus on using repurposed or antique things and these are just old um, brass plant hangers and you can put, um, line a tray in the bottom and then put hanging plants. It's mm -hmm. a, like living art on your walls. And another way to do, really easily do plants in your, on your walls is air plants because um, I know they were talked about earlier talked today, about that, yeah. and they're really, you don't have to be, they don't have to be in soil, and you only have to water them once every two weeks, so stick them on a wall, because you don't, they don't need a lot of care, and this is just a, a really cool old crocheted antique piece, and we just put some air plants in it for, you have a living wall now. And you can, yes, and you can make kind of a gallery wall exactly. out of it, which, you know, we're always looking for something else to kind of bump that up. Totally. Speaking of air plants, I'm sort of throwing you a loop because it's hard for you to see <laughs> from there, but this, this air plant that's sitting in the little rocking chair, yeah. that is so cool. What is that? So that is another um, type of air plant. It's just a very big um, variety of it. So it grows, those grow really big and then they have the trailing tentacles and that's a really good example of me wanting to, using plants to incorporate like my knickknacks and tchotchkes right. in my house because you know I see a mini rocking chair and I cannot pass it up. You <laughs> so. are adorable. I love this. So this is a good now, way I to get it. So it a, you said you have to water them. What do you do? You just miss them? Do you? How do you water something that doesn't I, seem to have anything to water? <laughs> Some people missed. I think the best method is to soak them in room temperature water in a bowl um, once every two weeks. Like I, the whole I just, thing? Yep. You just put it in. I've set an alarm in my phone and give all my air plants a bath every other Sunday. <laughs> just put them in a bowl. <laughs> And that way, you know, you know what they're, the water they're getting, they're super easy, you just make sure that they dry out and then they're, you can put them anywhere. And I think like here I have another way I love to do them is on like a really cool dish or something. So mm -hmm. I put, you can put something like this by your door, you put your keys in when you come home. So oh, that's utilitarian neat. purpose, but then you have a living aspect. To it, that's very cool. Speaking of that, tell me about some of the different places that we might consider putting plants that we don't think of. Yes. Okay, well I love it. I that's like to have a plant <laughs> everywhere. You're all about that, so. right? I think the first thing is another, like with the hanging plants, a great place to put them is the bathroom. You know, if you look for plants yeah. that like high moisture content, you know, then you don't even have to worry about watering them because they're getting the steam from the shower. Yep. It, it brings like, gives a little personality to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, kitchens are a really great place, like your windowsill in your kitchen, you're doing dishes, you have, put some plants there, it kind of gives that space. Oh, uh, that's interesting. So like things that you see all the time, because you mentioned coming totally. in the door, you're in the kitchen, you're in the bathroom, exactly. that kind of thing. And then like with, you know, something like the, a medium-sized plant like this, 
you know, if you think about the plant you're putting in it. So I also love to do a plant like on a on your on your dining room table or something, a centerpiece. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing flowers, a plant lasts. So you can put it there. It Correct. looks beautiful. That would help Darcy's husband, who's upset about the <laughs> roses. He could get a plant. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't die. So you can put it there. They're great on a mantle or a bookshelf. And then a big plant like these ones in the oh, baskets over here. Those are awesome. That's great if you have you know some dead space in your house or you don't want to you know instead of buying another piece of furniture, you can do a big plant like that, and that makes your space feel really warm and yes. cozy. And we put them in vintage baskets, so instead of buying like a really expensive or sometimes like with a pot that big, it's going to cost as much as your plant. But if you do yep. a basket, it's no lightweight, problem. it's easy, and yeah. I'm going to send character. you a picture of a plant like that that I put in my bathroom. It's now grown where it's bumping the ceiling, and I don't know what to do with oh, it. It's wow. like that <laughs> Feed Me Seymour plant. It's oh, taking I'd over love everything. to see that. Yeah. So that's really crazy. <laughs> what are some of the mistakes we make with plants? I think the biggest mistake, especially here in Seattle, is you do not want to overwater your house plants. They, you know, Seattle already, you have a lot of moisture, so we water once a week and it's a it's less than you think you know you're pouring especially here with the repurposed pots which is what we do mm -hmm. a lot of them don't have drainage which is no problem at all you just want to make sure you don't overwater so you're pouring in just a little bit and then if it really really like sucks it down you can add a little bit more otherwise stop just let it alone. that's the biggest thing and then sometimes you know you will plants go through season little changes too and you'll get some like brown leaves or stuff and you can always just trim them it doesn't mean your plant is dead. It could just have a little, you know, seasonal depression. Yeah. It'll perk right back up. <laughs> and these do sometimes get brown. They on do, you, right? Yeah. So just take a scissors and cut. You them can always, up. yep, just give them a little trim. Okay, you know, that's and sometimes good to know. if it's really brown, you, that might mean okay, you're giving it a little too much water. Take it back or something. But a lot of times, it really just needs a, just needs a little trim. And then maybe, you know, if your plants are feeling a little tired, you can always move them to a different corner mm -hmm. and see if they just like that area more. But there you yeah. go. They might just like a different room. So where's your shop? So we have a shop. Um, we're in the Ships on Collective with um, seven other local um, artisans and vendors, and it's in Green Lake, which was an amazing opportunity. And we sell at markets. We're going to do the Soto Flea Market, and Perfect. which you can bring a lot of stuff. And um, we're also in Callis Market in Pioneer Square. So That's awesome. We will put some contact information yes. for you on our website. But thank you so much. Thank you. This makes me feel better already, <laughs> just having all this greenery around. Up next, some easy and zesty entertaining ideas for your Super Bowl party this weekend. We'll be right back. Yeah!